Around 2 a.m., a woman is seen running down the street. She is running for her life. She has just witnessed the murder of her boyfriend. She stops to catch her breath and continues to run. It is all captured on a neighbor's surveillance cameras. This story takes place in Spring, Texas. It is located 25 miles of downtown Houston. On May 7, 2022, the quiet suburban neighborhood of Spring, Texas was shaken to its core when news broke of the shocking murder of James Hargrove, 44, a man entangled in a web of love and deceit. James had been involved in a love triangle that would ultimately lead to his untimely demise. Welcome to Backyard Crimes. Hit the subscribe button and bell to be notified of more crime stories. For seven years, James had been dating Karen Stewart, a woman who lived with him on and off. They shared a home in the 23600 block of Buttress Root Drive, their relationship filled with both love and conflict. It is not known if James was aware that Karen had a history of violence, having been previously charged with domestic battery in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Saturday, a neighbor's security camera shows images of a car backing into the driveway of the house on Buttress Route Drive around 1.45 Saturday morning. A man and woman get out of the car, then go into the home. Neighbors tell us that about a half an hour later, a woman is seen running away from the home in a state of panic. Sheriff's investigators say that 51-year-old Karen Stewart shot and killed her husband, James Hargrove, in the house after he allegedly told her that he was in love with someone else. Detectives say Hargrove was found with multiple gunshot wounds. The plot thickens when details emerged of another woman involved in James' life. This woman, whose identity remains undisclosed, was present with James at the time of the tragic shooting. She claimed that she believed James and Karen were involved in an open relationship and that James intended to introduce her to Karen. Little did she know the chain of events that would unfold. Surveillance footage from a concerned neighbor captured a car arriving at James and Karen's home in the early hours of the fateful Saturday morning around 1.45 a.m. The woman seen in the footage claimed that she and James had planned to inform Karen about their relationship. However, the encounter took a horrifying turn when Karen retrieved a gun from the bedroom and shot James multiple times. About 30 minutes later, in a state of panic, the other woman fled the scene, only to hear further gunshots echoing behind her. She managed to escape unharmed but was left traumatized by the events that had unfolded. When the authorities arrived, they found James gravely wounded, succumbing to his injuries shortly after being transported to the hospital. Karen Stewart, the accused killer, did not resist arrest and confessed to the murder during the subsequent investigation. She told police, I killed my husband. The motive behind Karen's deadly actions was revealed through her confession. Distraught and consumed by jealousy, Karen admitted that she shot James after he disclosed his love for another woman. It was a crime of passion, born out of a desperate attempt to maintain her hold on the man she believed was solely hers. Police initially believed Stewart was the victim's wife, but there was a dramatic moment in court today when his actual legal wife showed up for Stewart's court hearing. However, the love triangle took an unexpected shocking turn when James' wife, Sandra Hargrove, made an appearance at the courthouse, unaware of her husband's relationship with Karen or the other unnamed woman. Sandra revealed that she and James had been married since 2009, but had separated in November of the previous year. Despite their separation, Sandra still considered James her husband and they had talked about reconciling. She said they talked every other day. The tragic circumstances surrounding James's death left friends, family, and the community in disbelief. Sandra Hargrove, his estranged wife, expressed her shock and sorrow, struggling to comprehend the violent end to a relationship that had endured so much adversity. She recounted James' recent battle with COVID-19, where he had fought through heart attacks, paralysis, and numerous health complications, only to meet his demise in such a tragic manner. I had no idea about any of that. She says she can't wrap her mind around what happened. It's very hard to believe. It's, um, we've been married for 14 years, it's very hard to believe. And says Hargrove just recovered from a lengthy battle with COVID-19. His family says he was in a coma for four months, paralyzed for a year. He just started walking again, and now this. He had two heart attacks, a stroke, his kidneys failed, and he had just recovered from all of that. So for him to make it through all of that, to end like this. Why did you decide to come down here this morning? Because that's my husband. Yeah. He's still my husband. As the legal proceedings unfolded, Karen Stewart, 
her face stained with tears in her mugshot, made a somber appearance in court. She was charged with murder and her bond was set at $75,000. She remains in custody at this time. She requested that if she was released, she would like to live with relatives in Louisiana. Karen had been accused of felony battery in a domestic violence incident when she lived in Louisiana in 2016. According to documents, she ran over her husband with a vehicle after they argued over keys. A witness at that time said Karen also sprayed lighter fluid in her husband's face. In 2018, her charges were lowered to simple battery to which she pleaded guilty. The judge needed additional information before ruling on Karen's request to return to Louisiana. The story of James Hargrove's murder serves as a chilling reminder of the destructive power of jealousy and the devastating consequences that can arise from unresolved emotions in a love triangle. Our sincere condolences go out to James's family, friends, and loved ones. Please subscribe and leave a comment below. I'll see you in the next video.